Welcome to the Kennedy Center Performing Arts Series, brought to you by the Kennedy Center and the Prince William Network. My name is Rose Cano. I'm the director of North-South Connections, a cultural exchange project between artists of North and South America, and your moderator for today's program. The piece you just heard was Adios Pueblo de Ayacucho, a traditional song referring to a region in the central southern Andes of Peru. Today we are presenting a very special group of artists, Los Danzac de Ayacucho, traditional scissors dancers and musicians from the Peruvian Andes. They are here with us as a part of the Kennedy Center's ongoing Americartes Festival, a celebration of the arts and culture of Latin America. Peru is located on the Pacific coast of South America, the Andes mountain range, home of the Llamas, Alpacas, and Vicuñas, split the continent vertically, running from the northern tip to the southern tip of the continent. Most of the people of the Peruvian Andes speak Quechua, an ancient native language spread throughout the Andes by the Inca culture. The traditional scissors dance is mainly practiced in rural villages of three regions of the Peruvian Andes, Huancavelica, Ayacucho, and Arequipa La Unión. This group we are representing today, Los Danza de Ayacucho, as their name states, are from the province of Ayacucho. Ayacucho is in the heart of the ancient Chanca region, a strong culture that thrived before the Incas came to power. The Chancas are a proud people who fiercely resisted the domination of the Incas, as well as the Spaniards. Catholicism, the religion of the Spaniards, tried to stamp out the Andean religion and culture. So to the dancer, the scissors dance represents the cultural survival since the 500 years of the Spanish conquest and is a testimony of the continuing presence of the Chanca culture. Before we introduce the dancers, I would like to introduce our musicians. Andres Lares on Andean violin and Gregorio Condori on Andean harp. Stringed instruments. Stringed instruments were brought to South America by the Spaniards over 500 years ago and have since been completely incorporated into traditional Andean music. Although the harp and violin may sound like typical Western instruments of a symphony orchestra, these instruments here today are tuned and played quite differently. The musicians are wearing traditional everyday clothing from the Andes, a tightly woven poncho to keep out the bitter cold, the ojota, a rubber sandal made of tire tread, and most importantly, a felt hat. In the sierra, or mountains, you can't be without a hat. It is common for an artist from the Andean region to have an artistic name. Violinist Andres Lares is known as Chimango, which in Quechua means sweet bread, named for the sweet sound he makes with his violin. Our harpist, Gregorio Condori, is known as Lapla, which means in Quechua, droopy hat. <laughs> and now, Andres and Gregorio will play for you another traditional song from Ayacucho entitled Putcamayu, which means muddy river. Putcamayu. <laughs> Thank you. 
The music is an integral part of the scissors dance. The harp, as you can see, is a mobile instrument. It can be played upside down, so it is turned upside down and tied directly to the harpist in order to be able to travel from village to village. So it is played two different ways. A harpist may have to walk for several days. Traditionally, each dancer would have his own harpist and violinist. Today, the dancers will share the musicians. The scissors dance gets its name from the large two-pound instrument that the dancer carries at all times in his right hand. This instrument looks like a pair of scissors without the connecting pin so that the two blades can make noise. The blades, however, are not sharp. The dancers must keep a peculiar rhythm going with the scissors throughout the entire dance. The scissors keep one beat, the dancer's feet keep another beat, and his head keep another. True coordination. The scissors dance, or danza de tijeras, is a fierce one-on-one -on -one competition between two dancers. This is a test of agility, strength, wit, imagination, and endurance. Each dancer tries to outdo the other with fancier and fancier steps. And in the villages of the Andes, the dance usually lasts five to seven days. The dancers only stopping to eat, no sleep. Today we will condense the dance for you down to about 30 minutes. At the end of the competition, it is the village, traditionally, who decides who the better dancer is. During colonial times, the Spanish believed that this dance was some sort of communication with the devil and forbade the dancing for centuries. In fact, the scissors dance almost disappeared about 80 years ago. Although the scissors dance has its roots and essence in Andean culture and religion, it was strongly influenced by the Spanish culture. Many people believe that the integration of the scissors themselves came from the Spanish influence. Before this, stones may have been used as the instrument. But mostly, this dance is for you, the pueblo. So if you see something you like, you can applaud, you can make noise, you can take sides, you can show them who you think is doing the best moves. So who will be the better dancer? You will decide. And the dancers take the competition very seriously. You will see. So you will see that first, the dance begins gradually with the basic steps of the pasacalle, which is the introduction of the adversaries the hunang, the dancer from above, and the uring, the dancer from below. Then come the steps of the tonadas, which is each dancer's personal expression of his relationship to the spirits of the surrounding peaks and mountains. And now, without further ado, Los Danzas de Ayacucho, Peruvian Scissors Dancing.